Now, answering the call with Nick Vandergrat. February 8th, 1944. Sergeant Thomas Prince is a veteran soldier with the Devil's Brigade and is fighting in Italy at Anzio. He volunteers for a mission that any sane man would think suicidal. His task is to run a phone wire a mile and a half behind enemy lines and set up an observation post to direct artillery onto enemy positions. He sneaks through the German lines and sets up a shop on the second floor of the old barn. It doesn't take long till four hostile field guns are little more than twisted, smoking wreckage. A shell's cut the line, so now he has to find a way to repair it in broad daylight under the nose of the enemy. He finds a set of coveralls and puts them on, acting like a farmer, furious the war has interrupted his daily work. He pretends he's tending the fields, pausing occasionally to shout curses and shake his fist at both armies. He locates the brake and, stooping to tie a shoe, splices the wire while the enemy watch. He keeps working the ground to maintain the ruse till he's sure the Germans have forgotten about the angry Italian. With the line mended, Sergeant Prince returns to calling in artillery and drives the enemy back. His commanding officer recommends him for the military medal for his conspicuous bravery. He wins a total of nine more in World War II and later in Korea. Sergeant Prince survives both wars and returns to Canada, passing away in Winnipeg in 1972. Sergeant Thomas Prince, another Canadian that answers the call.